Welcome everyone, Comacaller here. This is another wolf pack. This time it's the Boston North End. I'm going to try to do one video for each of the maps. Um, mostly because I, I really enjoy these wolf pack missions or uh, sessions. I don't know what to call it. I am enjoying it. It gives me some experience. It gives me some historical points that I can use to purchase some items. So let's see how this match works out. I am playing as the bear. I've got my standard Your build, is to work as a team to reach the next sequence. Uh, which Score is poison, uh, smoke, pistol, resistance. Uh, the other perk is the pursuit one. I forget what it is. It increases your speed when you're trying to chase someone down. And then my kill streak is a silent two, silent kill 250. Start out with a poison. Should get about 1,000, 1,100. Extra time. Yeah, 1,100 because of the extra objective. So now I'm trying to move up on my next uh, target. I'm not quite sure where he's going to be. I don't want to sprint yet. I am doing a fast walk. I know he's got to be close. Lock on and maybe I can get a hidden incognito focus variety. Extra time. Only 900 points there, but that's uh, because of the poison, or the lack thereof. The guy that I'm following is just around the corner, so I try to stay close to the wall so I can get closer to him before I come around the corner. Fast walking. Maybe I can get into this group, get a hidden bonus as well as the uh, focus. Here we go. Extra time. New target available. Should have another patrolling guy. Uh, actually, have two guys here that we need to kill. One goes left, the other one goes right. This is unfortunate. I decided to follow the one to the right, even though he's not the one I have currently selected as the one I'm tracking. I do have incognito. One nice thing about them going separate ways is I can kill him, the other guy didn't see a thing. And so I have a chance that I can actually get um, more incognito points on this next guy. I see that he's over on the other side of the wall, or these uh, barricade thing. So I use it for cover to try and close the distance a little bit faster. I suppose I probably could have gotten an acrobatic here going up the wall. It's, it's a little bit risky. I go for the poison instead. The poison will grant me 200 points instead of that 100 points from the acrobatic. Extra time. New targets available. Even then, I only get 800 points because I wasn't hidden or anything. So we've got this one guy, the lookout, no, the scout. Uh, he's going around the corner. I'm trying to lock on, having difficulty because of the crowd density. Each time I think I have it, I release a little bit too slow. So let's try and get the hidden kill. Did I get focus there? Yeah, I did. Just barely. see him standing in this group up ahead of me. Try to mark him through all the crowd. Takes a couple tries. And so we're going to do our normal little enter at the far end of the hide group to try to get that bonus on top of everything else. So here we are, beginning of sequence 11. Got some more of these targets. I believe there's two guys in this group. Let's see if I can manage to take them out in such a way that it doesn't alert both of them. I can't really turn the camera. Oh, I didn't lock on first. 
end up killing the guy that I just poisoned. New targets available. That seriously decreases the possible points that I could have gotten. I know the guy's on the other side of this wall. I decided to try to go for the hidden bonus as well. Incognito. Perfect timing. Extra time. New targets available. Now I only need 100 points to get to the next sequence. 1300 points. Uh, I think part of that was because of the variety. It was a little bit unfortunate. High profile coming around the corner. New sequence reached. Extra time. But I do manage to salvage it. I should wait for the incognito. I decided to just go ahead and rush it. I'm not sure why. I've got plenty of time on the clock right now. Extra time. Was trying to wait for the incognito again there, but uh, the guy was starting to figure me out and be suspicious. Every time you hear that high pitch ping, Extra time. that means that uh, your incognito is, or your approach bar is fully maxed out, so you're incognito. New targets available. So, trying to figure out where this guy is. Unfortunately, I kind of alert them because I'm acting suspicious. So I decided to try to duck and cover, let them uh, lose interest for a little bit, and move in. Get one. I do get two. There we go. There's the multi kill. I'm seeing comfortably a wonderful time, uh, amount of time left. Three minutes. Should be plenty of time to make up for any mistakes that I may make. There we go. Sink kill succeeded. New sequence reached. Extra time. New targets available. Alright, so these this uh, lieutenant should be patrolling around. Trying to get a lock on him. I am successful. I'd, I'm sure there's other people that have learned this already, but because the game's been out for like a year. <laughs> but I learned that holding down the lock button and not releasing it allows you to aim around and pick your target and then release when you actually have it. It's a little bit better, a little bit easier to get a, a good lock on. Guy just came around the corner. Perhaps I can get a hidden bonus. 500 points, it's easy. I hear the incognito beep. Wait. Get the focus. Extra time. We should get something around 900 points there. Maybe 11. No, 1300. Fast walking, trying to close the distance and see if we can get. Nope. Unfortunately, we can't get hidden. But we do get the other. Now we gotta travel almost all the way across the map to try to find the next guy. I don't know why I was slowing down there. So we've got the hunters. I start trying to. Oh, no, it's not the hunters. This is a uh, tracker. Fairly easy. Just don't be. Don't move too fast in his line of sight. Don't go high profile, and it's really easy. Just follow him, track him down, kill him. I 
could have gone for the poison there. Not sure why I didn't. Maybe at the time I was thinking I was going to save it for the uh, upcoming hunter groups. Not sure which guy it is. I think it's the one that I marked. I decided to let the mark wear off and I'm going to try to get this uh, ambush aerial. Uh, I screwed up. But I do get the ambush. 350 points. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Playing with Lion Sight, see if I can figure out who he is. Not quite sure. I think I've got it. I marked the guy I think who I think it is. I didn't get the ambush because I had him locked. I need to break line of sight for more than three seconds in order to get the ambush. I'm not sure where they're going to be coming. This is the uh, patrol of three guys. They are coming down this alleyway, which is lucky for me. Drop the smoke right in their way. And I get stunned. Unfortunate. I locked the one who did stun me. That's the one you always need to lock because that's the captain. The other one is the civilian. I didn't realize at that time I take out the civilian. Very foolish of me. So we've got another uh, roving patrol here. Accidentally uh, climb over some stuff that wasn't intended. I take a guess. Luck out. Unfortunately, I hit the civilian. I decided to chase this guy down. I do get the reckless, which is better than a basic, but just barely. 50 points. Not a whole lot. So I see that we've got the two hunters here. I play around with Lion's Sight as usual. There is an easier way to, to lure the hunters out. Stand plainly within their line of sight, but several yards away from them, they'll get suspicious, and one of them, the actual hunter, will turn around and run towards you, giving you enough time to lock and kill. I do pick correctly, which I should. I see in the distance that one of the characters had just um, transformed into the skies. I saw it here. I don't think I saw it. As I was playing the game, I marked the guy I did mark correctly. At least I think I did. Yep. And he was just about to attack me. So we've got two hunters. I see the one on the right is the one who changed. So I know that the one on the left is the true one. Maybe I can get off a of poison here. Let's see. I opt for the poison instead of the focus poison. Uh, I'd, if I'd wait any longer, I probably wouldn't have gotten either of them off. Another synchronized. We're still sitting at about three minutes on the clock, which is really good. I find myself quite often starved for. Uh, time on the clock. Got the incognito and the hidden. Kill succeeded. Moving for the bears. Sink kill. Extra time. So we're sitting at sequence 23. Two sequences to go. 2,000 points left in this one and I think about 2,000 points in the next one. If I get a couple really good kills, I should be able to get on to the next sequence, no problem. I see that what I'm tracking is actually a roving group. One of the annoying group.
groups, unfortunately, they get suspicious. I drop a smoke grenade. I do take out the captain. Or was I civilian? No, that was a civilian. Maybe not. I don't know. I got confused. I was focused on watching. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? I guess I was hoping I could get a acrobatic kill or an aerial kill, but it's way too far away for that. Stop to try to figure out which way they're patrolling. Now I can actually see, and I'm going to try to head them off in this next alleyway. Will I be successful? If anything, I should get an ambush. I do get stunned. Oh, nope. It's a contested kill. Nice. Not worth a whole lot of points, but it's better than uh, getting stunned. We should have one more patrol. And if I can take these guys out, I should be ready to move on to the next stage. Or next sequence. Contested. I do get stunned by the bodyguard. I see him running down there. If I close this distance, I only need 50 points, so no matter wh how I kill him, I'm gonna advance to the next section. New sequence, sequence 24, 2050 points. And that will be on the final sequence, so should be doable. Just need to take care of some hunters. Unfortunately, they are clear on the opposite corner of the map. Now I've got to worry about this uh, lieutenant guy as well. Trying to play with line of sight, not quite sure. Decided to take a guess. Drop smoke. Managed to do a multi-kill and kill both of the guys correctly. 800 and 450 plus 100 so we're looking at what is that oh wow my math skills are terrible I'm not sure which guy he is here I can use line of sight well here to figure out that I need to get the guy on the left he panics, I get a contested kill. As long as I can get the correct guy of these two. Lucky that they split up, it allows me to follow my compass. Do kill him. Get over into the next sequence. No, I'm 50 points shy of the next sequence. I just need to hit somebody. Sitting in a minute and a half, I'm closing in. I know that they're on the other side of this fence. I know this guy be the guy on the right, or the guy right next to me. I'm trying to mark him, it wasn't working. I managed to poison, I managed to get the lock off onto the other guy. I recover 800. And 1,000. Ooh, how lucky is that? In route, this guy just happens to walk right in front of my, or right in my path. So I just have to do a sync kill with these final two guys. We're done with this wolf pack. I still haven't quite figured out how you need to approach these double sync kills so that you actually take out both of them at once. I sometimes do it, but not always. There goes the robber, and we are done. I've unlocked the dark robber gear. I've unlocked the dark bear gear. Completed this wolf pack game session. And we got a score of 32,000. Not amazing, but it's, uh, it's up there. It's somewhere around second or third of my best scores. 
but my average kill score is pretty good. Uh, 695. When you factor in somebody's uh, reckless kills or somebody's chases, 695 is not too bad. That's better than a standard kill if you were following somebody just walking down the street and managed to pop a focus incognito. I think a poison nets you like 800 points when it's just following a single person, no hidden bonus. And we get some decent XP and that'll be it for this part. I decided to vote for the New York Brewery. Thank you for watching. Tune to the next part, and I will see you then.